Hey guys, just wanted to do kind of an update video of the Elvis records I currently have in my collection. Uh, now, I recently just started collecting records. I, about a couple months ago, I bought the Quasley uh, record player from Walmart. It's the, the cheap one, the suitcase record player. It was about like 45 bucks. I know that's not the ideal record player. You know, I've, I've read the negative things about it. But just to, starting, just to start off, you know, with this, you know, vinyl, I thought it was a good investment. And again, if, if I'm going to be collecting more records, you know, I would definitely invest in something, a better record player. But at the time, right now, it, it gets the job done. I'll do more of a video reviewing it, you know, in a, in a future video. But uh, so just a quick thing, just a quick video. I have the Elvis Golden Records. I think this is, a, you know, I got this at Walmart when I bought the record player. So I thought it was like kind of cool. Um, as you see the back, um, and the record's golden. Um, I'm not gonna take the record out because it just make the video longer, longer for me, you know, trying to get the record back into the sleeve and stuff. But this is the, you know, I found this at Walmart. I haven't found this. At, I mean, I've been going back to Walmarts and stuff, and and I haven't found and where I, Walmart where I'm, where, what's near my house. I haven't seen this, this record again. Um, so I got this, and I thought it was like a cool, you know, first record to have. This is, you know, because it had all the all the good hits, you know, Hound Dog, All Shook Up, Heartbreak Hotel, Jailhouse Rock, you know, and Don't Be Cool, you know, Let Me Be Your Teddy Bear, Love Me Tender. So all, all, all the classic, you know, early Elvis songs are on here. Uh, the next one, of course, I had to get this, uh, the Elvis Presley Classic Christmas Album. Uh, I was at Target. Uh, I think it was probably right after like Thanksgiving and I saw this album there and I, at the time I didn't have a record player. So I was like, oh, I mean, it'd be pointless to buy it just because I don't have a record player. So then I got the record player and I couldn't find it. Luckily I was able to find it again at a different, different, uh, target. This is, this is at a uh, target. I think it was a target exclusive and this is get some of the songs, you know, from, uh, from the two Christmas albums that he came out with, where I where I live, uh, there's not there, there, there's not many record stores. Uh, there's basically, I mean, you got Walmart and Target, but you're very limited to what they have. Uh, the the uh, Barnes and Noble by me actually has you know a, um, a good selection of records. It's not it's not a record store, but they have they have a, a lot of records. And I went there and purchased a few. Um, they had a couple of Elvis records. They had they had this one Elvis back in Nashville. Um, again, there's a box CD box set. I have the first one, but I, I haven't gotten this one back in Nashville. Uh, so you have this one. It's uh, so it's kind of like samples from that box set. Kind of makes you want to buy you know the CD box set, and and it, it opens up like this. And there's actually a um, like a where the sleeve is. There's some some write ups about the album, about the sessions, recording sessions, and stuff. Uh, so I got this at, at um, Barnes and Noble. The other one I found at Barnes and Noble is this one, uh, Elvis Presley, where no one stands alone. Uh, this came out in 2018, so uh, fairly new. So this features more of the of the gospel, you know, songs, um, and it also includes the "Where No One Stands Alone" with Lisa Marie Presley. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool to have. And I also enjoyed it. I also like the cover too. Uh, the other one I ordered from Amazon. This is the uh, the International Hotel. It was August 20, 26, 1969. This is again, you could buy the CD box set, but that's going to cost for me. That I think that's like, I think Amazon was selling it for like ninety two dollars, and it's way expensive on Graceland's website. So I thought this was kind of just cool, just to have just the record. It's it's just going to be one concert, but. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. This is like the track. Like, and it kind of opens up. I don't want to kind of opens up. So it's kind of like the beginning when you start touring again, you know, doing live shows. I mean, this was at the International Hotel. Oh. <clears throat> um, I showed this one. In the video this is this is the box set that I got I'm not gonna go opening it again uh, this is the uh, 25th anniversary limited edition box set eight record set uh, that came out in 1980 
And then the last one I got is uh, this one. Is, this is a, a Rustabout uh, record, um, but it was, which, which I find is kind of cool. I, I, this is the Japanese version of it, and I found this at the record store, and I was like, wow, I mean, this is pretty cool to have. Uh, so there you, there you go, right here. And that's it for now. Um, but here we are in, in the new year, 2024. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to you know adding more to the collection. Um, if you have any recommendations of, of any like Elvis records that you think I should have, or you know good places to to find them, you know again any like websites or or anything, I'm I'm definitely you know uh, would would appreciate that. And um, thanks for watching.